Hey friend, how's it going? I hope you're having a good day. So today I'm gonna to go ahead and talk about two of my street photography shots. And if you guys haven't noticed from the past few videos, this is starting to be a pattern. <laughs> Me talking about two street photography shots at a time, mainly because two street photography shots fit on the actual thumbnail really easily. If I put three, the pictures are gonna to be too small. So this is where we're at. So now we're only talking about two street photography shots and every single one of these videos. But again, thank you for the support guys. I really appreciate if you subscribe, like, and follow my content, both here on YouTube, as well as on Instagram. These videos go up on both, and I upload uh, photos every single day, except Saturday, because I have to give myself a break. <laughs> okay, so the two photos that I'm gonna talk about today are based on uh, people working, mainly because I also like to capture people in the moment as far as daily life and also whenever they're working because that is as real as it gets. You know, you never really, you are as real as you get whenever you're just working a mundane job or a job that, you know, just pays the bills or whatever, but that is as realistic as you're gonna get. <laughs> so the first shot is called uh, Clean Streets, this shot right here. So for Clean Streets, this was actually in Munich. And what I really, really liked about this one is that there is a depth behind the machine. And I was actually following. <laughs> okay, so just a real quick backstory behind this. So this was whenever I was gonna go to Back to Scotland, which is a uh, eagle's nest over there in um, outside of Munich. So we were gonna take a tour to go from Munich over to uh, eagle's nest. And as we were waiting there, I ended up seeing this person cleaning the streets with this machine, right? So while we were waiting for the group to get together and everything, I ended up getting there a little bit early with my friend. So I ended up following this person <laughs> that was like, cleaning the streets. And I wanted to capture, like take a picture of them because it's just so uh, genuine. Them taking pictures, you know, on them taking pictures, them cleaning the streets and everything. It's just like a daily job. So I just wanted to capture that. So. I ended up taking a picture and I ended up placing myself in front of him, <laughs> which was a terrible idea. So I ended up having him actually go around me while I was taking the pictures. And I'm pretty sure that by the end, he was actually noticing that I was taking pictures, but my camera, I hold it at the bottom and then I flip up the screen. So it doesn't really look like I'm taking pictures most of the time. It just looks like I'm looking down at my camera, like fixing some settings real quick and everything. So whenever he saw me, he just ended up turning to the side and just kept cleaning the street and like and on, his, on his daily life. Whenever he saw me, he probably was like, oh, look at this tourist. <laughs> I'm just gonna go around him, you know, and uh, keep up with my day. But one thing that I will say is that uh, Munich is a very, very big city, but it is very clean, like very, very clean. Like New York City, it has constant people going through it and everything, trying to clean it up, but it's so like, it's damn near impossible <laughs> to keep it 100% clean. Uh, but Munich is a very, very clean city. Compared to some cities in the United States, Germany is uh, doing a really good job at keeping their uh, cities clean. As far as the parts that I ended up going to, like the touristy parts and everything are really clean. I don't know about other parts, but I do know that the touristy parts are. But that is the shot basically, just trying to capture that genuine emotion of uh, somebody doing a daily job. And I ended up capturing it even though I was in the person's way. <laughs> okay, and for this next one, the work on scene, this shot right here. So for the work on scene, this was in New York City and they were basically fixing the pavement there. I have uploaded a photo of this before, but it wasn't this exact photo, it was basically the three slabs of cement and then it was uh, people working uh, per segment of cement, like basically leveling out the cement, the concrete, I mean, cement is just, a, I'm a very technical person if you don't know, but cement is the actual binding agent and uh, concrete is like the whole thing together. But basically it was perfect whenever I, cause I ended up noticing them as, as I was walking by and I was, as, as I was turning, I ended up seeing them and I ended up capturing the shot like super quick because I knew that it was a perfect leading line. So it's like the leading line of the ladder. Uh, there's a person that's out of, out of frame holding the ladder 
and then the person that's in the middle which is the main subject is actually holding the ladder as well but that leading line leads you straight to that subject so i use that ladder as an improvised leading line leading tw straight towards him and then where that cement actually cuts with uh, where that concrete cuts with the actual street that's also his leading line and there, there's that depth in behind this main subject and there's a whole bunch of people working and everything and it just fits properly and i really liked naming this one because it there is a lot of jobs that people don't really think about on a daily basis and yet you know this is one of those like jobs that people just they drive by it or they see it and they're just like oh they're fixing this or whatever but these are such essential jobs to our society that people never really notice and everything and they don't notice it because people that do them do a really good job <laughs> so this is this shot right here and i ended up uh, you know capturing my main subject right in the middle and then i ended up waiting there for people to move around and everything and i ended up taking another shot but that is basically the shot right here i love taking pictures of people working on a daily basis mainly because it's just like i keep saying it's just so genuine there is nothing that shows more realism well there are a lot of things but there <laughs> in my opinion there's nothing that shows more realism than a mundane job that you just you know you're just doing to pay your bills but you're just showing genuine emotion and it just it works perfectly so that's why i really like this job and one of the reasons why i really love to shoot in new york city a lot as well is because there is depth everywhere it doesn't matter where you are unless you're inside of a building shooting like 10 feet from a wall you're gonna have depth on the streets everywhere because everything just seems to go on forever and it just makes you feel so small but it works in the advantage of a street photographer because anytime that you find a subject it just feels like you're singling out one person amongst millions which you are but either way it just makes it feel so much bigger than it actually is so that's why whenever i do like street photography here in dallas and in texas and everything everything feels so much smaller compared to new york city that's why i love new york city for street photography and i will go back this year at some point but thanks for watching guys uh, these are the two street photography shots uh for today and uh, basically i make these videos because i want to inspire you guys to go out and do more street photography and uh, the more street photography you do the more in love you fall with you know street photography <laughs> And uh, you'll just uh, get out of depression and, you know, just out there, you're creating art. And there's a whole community of street photographers that you can get inspired from. So this is just one of the things that I like to show people as far as how I see my street photography and how the viewpoint on how I get these shots to happen. But I hope you have a good night and I'll catch you next time.